love getting new parts. Let's see what we got today. This is gonna be so much better, guys. Holy cow. I don't know why I put this off for so long. This is gonna be 10 times better. I don't wanna uncover it all because I'm not ready to install it yet, but. Oh, dude. It looks so good. I wanted to actually keep this gray, so, for a little contrast, but it was gonna look sick. I am not sure why I waited so long to get this grill, but I am glad I finally did, and I'm pretty pumped to get it installed. But first, it's a little chilly in the grass, so we're gonna get this thing warmed up, and of course, I'm rocking my Savage Panda Projects sweatshirt this morning. Go ahead and check out my buddy's channel. He's got a Project A3 Quattro he's been working on making just as much, if not more power than us in the VQ37, combined with the all-wheel drive setup and the dual clutch transmission. That thing rips. Go check out a video we did a little earlier this summer, a little collaboration. Uh, that thing really moves in it. It's a pretty sweet looking little car. So go check it out. Link in the description to his channel below. Go give him a follow. I got some more parts in too. I just, I love this. Oh, stay tuned, stick around. Ooh, gotta put these away too. Something special coming for these. You might wanna subscribe, that's all I'm gonna say right now. I'll just go ahead and show you guys right now what these are, cause it's not worth doing a, uh, an unboxing video. I've talked about them before, and this is from Concept Z Performance. They are braided stainless steel brake lines. Like I mentioned in our mountain run video, the brakes were grabbing really nice. They felt great with the new pads and rotors, uh, but the one thing I did feel was a little bit of squish in the pedal and, you know, uh, changing out the fluid and flushing the system is really gonna make a big difference, uh, but adding some of these stainless steel brake lines is going to be huge. But we also got the uh, Motul dot 5.1 brake fluid. Um, I think the book says dot four, uh, dot three should work, uh, but don't use dot five. Different thing. Just a few things you might need: uh, ratchet wrench with an extension, possibly a swivel, and a 10 millimeter socket, flathead screwdriver for popping clips, or if you have a like an automotive clip removing tool. This is old as hell. I've used it a few times. Usually, flathead screw screwdriver does the trick. You just go through, pop all these out here and along the front. Then underneath here is where you'll find the 10 millimeter bolt. Okay, look in there. Look right there it is. Okay. So with all the clips removed, you have a little more flexibility here. And what we're going for now is that bolt right there. And Oh, it will come a bracket like this. Don't drop it. But that is what will allow you to separate the two pieces. Then you come down here with your wheels turned and you remove that clip there. This will allow you to pull out the fender liner and access another bracket. And Get some light in here. It's just right there. See? So, just this little guy here allows you to separate the bumper from the fender. 
be careful. Little nuts in there and those little clips pop it out. Well, it's out, but I gotta say, just take the bumper off. <laughs> it seems like it'd be way easier, but battle scars, it's tight. Get down in there and uh, some of them didn't want to pull out, so it's a little rough. But we got it out and I'm pumped to get the black one in, so I'm gonna switch over the emblem and we'll move forward. So it's actually these corner tabs that I was fighting with. They were really sticking in down at the bottom, even though I had the little nuts off. They just were not pulling out of their little slots. Um, the tabs aren't bad, you just push down and they pop right out. Um, so similar situation here, we just gotta open these these little uh, tabs up and the emblem will pop off. Easy. There we go. All switched over. I don't mind the black. All right, let's pop back in. Essentially just reverse order. Make sure you get all your ends clipped back in in the right place. And uh, don't forget to reinstall the brackets. Don't be afraid, just uh, you can see the little tabs. So line them back up with their slots and a little gentle pressure and they pop back in. Boom. Well, it looks fantastic. I really dig it, but that is a bitch of a project. Unless, of course, you take the bumper completely off. I, that, that'd be my recommendation. Just take the whole damn thing off. Don't worry about it. Um, fits pretty decent. It's not 100% perfect, but I guess I didn't really know what to expect. Um, the black is super nice and glossy. Of course, it's raining right now. Uh, but it looked really nice, as you could see, out of the package. Everything is pretty flush. I was really worried about the corners. Um, but they lay down nice. Emblem snapped right into place like it should. Clips and everything lined up. It goes a little high here, but I don't even remember the, the original one might have done that as well. I'm supposed to get some sunshine tomorrow. Wash, wash it up and hopefully get some good photos tired of this rain that's it guys of course if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below I'll certainly get to them as quickly as i possibly can either here or on instagram at speed culture studios thank you guys for stopping in We've got a lot of good stuff coming obviously you saw stainless steel braided brake lines going on next so stick around other good stuff coming i promise you you don't want to miss it thanks for watching see you next one